I'm Kay Choi. Welcome to my channel. I recently uploaded a video with planning and organization tips for traveling and one of the tips was to use a spreadsheet to organize and keep together all of your travel information and I asked if any of you would like to see those spreadsheets and that is what this video is so I will be walking through what I do and how I format um, those spreadsheets in order to keep all of my travel information organized. All right so here is my Excel spreadsheet sheet or this is actually in Google Drive so it's Google Sheets and we have four tabs there's calendar budget transportation and accommodation and I'll go over each of these tabs in detail first is the calendar tab and I said in my planning and organization video that doing your budget is the first step and I actually like to do this in conjunction with the calendar and this is basically a visual overview of my itinerary just my basic itinerary of which cities I will be in on which date it is kind of time consuming to make this format but I just like the calendar format uh, to have a basic overview it's pretty self-explanatory you could do it on paper but I like to have it digital and the budget tab there are three different sections so i have the transportation budget accommodation budget and then kind of like the budget breakdown so for transportation we have the type um, i just have it divided like that um, location so which leg of the trip it is the estimated cost per person because when you're looking up flight tickets or train tickets you want to look it up per person probably and I have it here in US dollars as well because I like to make my purchases on my credit card and that will charge me in US dollars. So I just have a formula here. The exchange rate right now I think is about 1.3, um, $1.30 to the pound. So I just have a formula in there going down the column. And then I have the total estimated cost, which because I was um, booking for both of us and just getting money back, um, money paid back to me, um, I just wanted to see the total cost, so I just did the cost per person times two as a formula, and that's going down the column as well. And then the actual cost is blank when you're starting out, but you would fill it in as you make the bookings. And same for accommodation, but instead of cost per person, I have cost per night. Um, I have Again, I have the exchange rate right there, and then the total estimated cost is this times the number of nights so each place we stayed two nights so all of them are times two and then i have the actual cost filled in here as well as i book and this section is the budget breakdown or not the breakdown but the budget summary and i have here the total estimated transportation budget so i just have a formula adding together all the separate total estimated costs and then I have the same for accommodation, just another formula to add those together. And then the total budget, I just added these two together. So that's the total estimated budget that I need. Um, and then here is what I spent. So similar thing, I just did a formula to sum up the actual costs for transportation, for accommodation, and then for the total right there. And then for remaining, just to keep track of how much money I have left in my budget uh, from transportation and accommodation, I just have the estimated minus the spent to get me these figures right here. And then I have the total estimated remaining. So if you look here, it was pretty close. Now moving on to the transportation and accommodation tabs. This is where I dump all of the details because the calendar tab is the main overview and this will also be kind of like an itinerary but this is where I just want to keep all of the details here you have date origin destination the train or airline and I also like to put the flight number if possible the departure and arrival time reference or confirmation numbers the cost which I fill in as I book and the notes um, and actually I fill in all of these as I confirm my bookings I'll just go through one of them for example so this one on Tuesday the 18th we booked a flight from Paris Charles de Gaulle to Prague Airport um, it was Czech Airlines flight 767 and these were the departure and arrival times I'm not sure why I removed the reference numbers that we had because it doesn't really matter but you know you fill that in as you get the confirmation and then the cost and any notes so for this one I noted that the 
um, the baggage policy for Czech Airlines is one bag and one personal item. If you look at EasyJet, as I mentioned in my budget travel tips video, EasyJet only allows one um, bag and no personal item, and I ended up uh, purchasing online one checked bag for us to share in case we needed to check it in. So there's a transportation tab and how I organize all of that information. Accommodation is very similar, so here we have the dates um, that we are staying in the place, the city, the address which you get once you make the booking, the host and contact number, and you also get the phone number once you make your booking, in the case of Airbnb at least, um, the check-in and check-out time, and the reference number, the cost again, and notes. So it's very similar. Something about the check-in and check-out time, so for a lot of Airbnbs, they have a stated check-in and check-out time, but those could usually be negotiated with the host. And if that gets updated, then I'll, I'll update it here maybe, but at that point, it's just easier for me to look in my Airbnb messages, so I might not update that. This is just as I'm booking, I put the rules in so I know, you know, if I have to ask the host for any special, um, anything special. So there are the four tabs. Um, I will also, you know, in addition to this, probably end up adding tabs for things to do um, or, pla you know, places to eat and that kind of thing just to keep a running list in this same spreadsheet or same workbook as all of these other tabs. But I just thought I would show how I plan the main itinerary and budgeting um, in this way. Here you go, I hope that was helpful. If you're currently in the process of planning a trip, I hope you have a lot of fun and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.